Ferrari Charles Leclerc will be entering his fourth year in Formula 1 and his third as a Ferrari driver. He's had an eventful career so far, which has also had its fair share of criticisms. Leclerc has now spoken to Sky Italia and pointed out the criticism that affects him the most. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, the criticism that bothers Charles Leclerc the most. Leclerc began by thanking his team. A huge thanks to all of my team that have been working day and night to improve the car and find the tiniest gains. I can see we are heading the right way. It's a long way, but we'll get there. Thank you for your dedication and passion. He then spoke about the criticism that is the hardest for him to accept. One piece of criticism that touches me more than others is arrogance, because I know very well that I haven't changed. He then revealed how being a Ferrari driver has affected him. The further I go in my career, the more I see that people want to be my friend, certainly not because they like me as a person, but because I am a Ferrari driver. Leclerc then revealed the change this has caused while reiterating the advice he got from his late father and late godfather Jules Bianchi. So, I close myself a little, but that's not arrogance. I haven't changed from that point of view. Both my father and Jules always told me to keep my feet on the ground. He signed off by explaining why he isn't arrogant. Everything in my career has gone pretty fast and in the right direction, but I've always kept that advice in mind. That's why the word arrogance bothers me more than the others. Fast feed. F1 race steward Gary Connolly has revealed that Mercedes Lewis Hamilton was very polite and just asked, guys, can you tell me why I'm being penalised at the Italian Grand Prix last year? He added that the steward's reply was, yes, of course, you went into the pit lane when it was already closed. They then showed him the video footage from his onboard camera and the warning light on the first screen and then the second screen and then he said, okay, I accept that. Former F1 driver turned commentator Martin Brundle is of the opinion that Hamilton is 36 years old, but with the freshness of someone 10 years younger. He also feels that F1 will see him on the track for the next three years, but Brundle can also imagine Hamilton stopping when he sees that his performance is declining. Former F1 driver Robert Dornbos has pointed out that when Williams' George Russell stood in for Hamilton at Mercedes, the car was not optimal for his taller body. As such, he feels that Mercedes re-signing Hamilton was never in doubt, because Mercedes was obviously already well on its way to building this year's car. He also suggested that Red Bull's Max Verstappen will not go to Ferrari, but Mercedes would of course be an attractive option for 2022. Nine-time world champion and MotoGP rider Valentino Rossi likes Ferrari and Charles Leclerc very much, who he thinks is one of the strongest drivers on the grid. He also feels that Ferrari need people who want to win races, and in Maranello they need to build a good car. Like Red Bull Racing, Ferrari needs to make things difficult for Mercedes in 2021. F1 CEO Stefano Domenicali has stated that their We Races One platform was very effective at raising the awareness of socially important issues. He added that while their commitment through words to tackling issues like sustainability and diversity in F1 is important, it is their actions that they will be judged on. He further feels that they have already made good progress on their sustainability plans and F1 will see strong actions being executed this year. McLaren CEO Zach Brown would like to get to a place where they are rotating some races as the more countries they race in, the better. He further explained that in an ideal world, you would do 20 Grand Prix per year. Maybe there are 25 markets, and maybe 15 of those are fixed events, because there is a commercial reality of this sport. And the other 10 races, 5 of them are one year, and then 5 the next year. And this way, they might create more sustainable venues. Does Charles Leclerc come across as arrogant? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.